It's a pleasure to host you here today. Uh, I think I'll start with saying today is the greatest day in the history of days. I say that every day. <laughs> so very crucial to our work, our human justice work, is the community liaison. I can walk you into the Library of Congress. I'll keep go doing everything in my power to make sure the communities are safer, but Congress needs to do its part too. Pass universal background checks. Ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. Close loopholes that keep out of the hands of domestic abusers weapons. Repeal the liability shield for gun manufacturers. We need, as I stated, a 9-11 type response to address the domestic terror that is pervasive in this city and country. And President Biden is here to deliver on his promise to come here. He committed to it and he is here and get New Yorkers the backup we need. Far too long we called for backup and it was not here. It is time to have that backup. The answer is not to defund the police. It's to give you the tools, the training, the funding to be partners, to be protectors, and community needs you and know the community. You know, <laughs> police, Policing that treats everyone with respect and dignity. That's why I called on the Congress to pass a budget later this year that provides cities like New York and others with an additional $300 million for community policing. 